we're going to explain how to unroot your Android TV box. Unrooting essentially reverses the process of rooting, returning your device to its original factory authorized state. This can be beneficial for various reasons, such as resolving software issues, regaining access to warranty support, or simply wanting a cleaner, less modified system. There are several methods, and the exact steps might vary slightly depending on your specific Android TV box model and the method used for rooting initially. However, here's a general guide covering the common approaches. 1. Using a factory reset. This is often the easiest method. Navigate to your TV box's settings menu. Usually, you'll find a factory data reset or similar option under settings system or backup and reset. This will erase all data on your device, returning it to its factory default settings, effectively removing any root access. For proceeding, back up any important data you want to keep as this process is irreversible. Remember to connect to a stable internet connection for optimal results. Two, using a custom recovery like TWRP. If you rooted using a custom recovery like Team Win Recovery Project, TWRP, you might be able to flash a stock ROM, original firmware, through it. Download the correct stock ROM for your specific device model from a reputable source. Be absolutely certain you're using the correct ROM, as using the wrong one could brick your device. Once downloaded, boot into TWRP recovery, usually by holding down a combination of buttons during startup. Check your device's manual for the correct key combination. In TWRP, find the option to wipe data factory reset and perform this wipe. Then, navigate to install and select the downloaded stock ROM file. Follow the on-screen instructions to flash the ROM. This process can take some time. After successful flashing, reboot your device. 3. Using a stock ROM via flash tool. Some devices may require the use of a flash tool on a computer. This generally involves connecting your Android TV box to your computer, downloading a specialized flashing tool, and using that tool to install the stock ROM. The precise steps will differ significantly depending on the specific tool and your device model. Consult online forums and resources specific to your Android TV box model for detailed instructions. This method requires technical proficiency. If you're not comfortable with this, avoid it. 4. Important considerations. Regardless of the method you choose, remember to back up any important data before proceeding. Unrooting often leads to a complete data wipe. Always download ROMs and tools from reputable sources to avoid malware. Incorrectly flashing ROMs can brick your device. If unsure, seek help from experienced users in online forums related to your specific Android TV box. Remember to always consult your device's manual for specific instructions. Be patient. Unrooting may take some time. After following these steps, your Android TV box should be unrooted. If you encounter problems, further research based on your device model will be beneficial.